Hello and welcome to our Sunday Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Jesus knows the full worth of the poor widow who contributes everything she possessed, all she had to live on. Although her alms financially amounted to almost nothing, she remained certain that God would be pleased with her sacrifice. Like the widow of Zarephath, she believed in a bounty beyond her meagre means. The jar of meal shall not be spent. It has become the bread of life, Jesus, who provides for those who have given their lives over to him. It is in this that we discover our true worth. This total gift of ourselves is what Christ presents to the Father, appearing in the actual presence of God on our behalf. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, in his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes and to have salutations in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at feasts, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. And he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the multitude putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums, and a poor widow came and put in two copper coins which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, her whole living. Jesus is in the temple, seated opposite the treasury, where he could see people making their financial contributions to support the holy place. We are told that many rich people put in large sums. And then a poor widow came and put in two copper coins, which make a penny. Jesus indicates the woman to his disciples, at the same time saying, Truly, I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she put out of her poverty and has put in everything she had, her whole living. Compared to the large sums put in by the rich people, the widow's offering was hugely insignificant. But for Jesus, the poor woman gave more because she gave with love. True love is measured by the willingness to sacrifice and suffer for the person loved. While the others gave out of the abundance of their possessions, the poor widow gave out of the abundance of her heart. She did not consider the tremendous sacrifice she was having to make, but gave with a heart full of love. One takeaway from this is that it is not the great number of works we are able to accomplish that will win for us God's pleasure, but the love with which we perform each and every good work. But we do not possess true love if we lack the grace of God. Pope St John Paul once said, our humble offering may be insignificant in itself, like the oil of the widow of Zarephath, or the coins of the poor widow in the temple. Yet our offering becomes pleasing in the eyes of God, thanks to our union with Jesus. Our main preoccupation must be to live in God's grace, then our offering to him will be acceptable to him. Christ the Lord will come to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Filled with faith, we make our prayer to the Father. 
that, through the Church's faithful announcement of the Gospel, God's Word may give full meaning to pain and suffering. That the wisdom of God will guide and direct all those who govern. For the blessings on all our nation's veterans, and for the protection of those who serve in our country's armed forces and emergency services. For police officers, firefighters, paramedics, and all those who risk their lives to protect us, that God will bless them and keep them safe. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and to the consecrated life. For the grace this week to be generous in living out our faith. We bring all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. O Mary, Star of the Sea, Light of every ocean, guide seafarers across all dark and stormy seas, that they may reach the haven of peace and light prepared in him who calmed the sea. As we set forth upon the oceans of the world, and cross the deserts of our time, show us, O Mary, the fruit of your womb, for without your Son we are lost. Pray that we will never fail on life's journey, that in heart and mind, in word and deed, in days of turmoil and in days of calm, we will always look to Christ and say, Who is this that even wind and sea obey him? Amen. Loving Father, secure justice for the oppressed, give food to the hungry, set captives free, and raise up those who are bowed down. We trust in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.